get ready for the dictation dictation will start in 5 seconds start our greatest anxiety sir came with the scarcity of food this was the biggest threat to the country for months together the nation tightened its belt there were acute shortages one state came to the rescue of the other the government of india tried to come to the rescue of all the states where in it could and wherever the need was the greatest the position has fortunately eased considerably now and we expect that the future holds promise of one of our best crops a long term policy has been adopted the agricultural prices commission and the food corporation have been set up and these will be able to help in the stabilization of prices ensuring proper marketing conditions and building up of stocks it is however an unfortunate fact sir that anti social trends in the trading community have been present throughout this crisis government must therefore continue to remain vigilant and buffer stocks must be built up so that long term stability in agricultural prices may be achieved india is still very much an agricultural country despite its efforts to industrialize itself in various directions of trade and industry in order to fully develop its agriculture itself a great deal has to be done we have to ensure a proper supply of fertilizers in time we have not only to guarantee but to give proper irrigation facilities and good seeds these sir the minimum requirements of our peasants actually we have also to prepare our peasants and to educate them and to persuade them to accept new methods of agriculture the community development movement is directed towards this goal and the cooperative movement is the economic unit to reach it on the political side sir decentralization through panchayati raj is being achieved rapidly we are talking the we are taking the risk of making mistakes in pursuance of the ideal that the participation of the people in the government is necessary development in the economic sphere can only come with rapid industrialization production has gone up in many public sector undertakings and in the current year we have been told that there will be an increase of 8% in industrial production the national income has risen but the impact cannot be felt because of the rapid rise in prices consumer goods have become easily available but the demand for them has risen in the rural areas to a great extent madam our housing problem continues to be acute there is a pressing need for more houses for more building materials and it is absolutely necessary that this problem should be tackled on a high priority basis ugly towns narrow streets slums from our cities and hovels from our villages have to be cleared and we should provide houses in which decent conditions of life are possible madam we are now engaged in the formulation of the fourth five year plan we have to ensure that each citizen of our country is guaranteed a decent minimum standard of life our social services must have one prime object the abolition of want 
रिलीफ ऑफ डिस्ट्रेस एंड एलिमिनेशन ऑफ स्क्वेरल मस्ट रिमेन द मेन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सोशल एक्सपेंडिचर एंड स्पेशल असिस्टेंस मस्ट बी गिवन टू एनी पार्ट ऑफ द कम्युनिटी दैट इज इन नीड ऑफ इट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट पॉपरिज्म ओल्ड एज एंड लैक ऑफ सोशल अम्यूनिटीज हैव टू बी डेल्ट विद द फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी मैडम इन एनी सोशलिस्ट कंट्री मस्ट बी गिवन टू द पुअर टू द अनफॉर्चुनेट एंड द हैव नॉट्स द कम्युनिटी शुड बी आस्कड टू गिव ए हेल्पिंग हैंड इन दिस ग्रेट टास्क ऑफ रिकंस्ट्रक्शन बट इन अ कंट्री एज वैकवर्ड एंड पुअर एज अवर्स इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर द गवर्नमेंट टू प्रोवाइड द बेसिक अम्यूनिटीज that will raise the general status and standard of life i plead for more investment in the human being bigger wages better conditions of life and the availability of basic necessities to all it is only when these are available that we can expect a better response from the people madam if people have to rise to the occasion ignorance has to be dispelled the pattern of education has to be finalized and a thorough overhaul of the whole of our educational system has to be made we have been told that an education commission has already been appointed and we know that it is carrying on its work i merely wish to point out that we can ill afford to lose one time and early steps should be taken to start this great reform therefore madam the urgent necessities of the country at the moment are a speedy and efficient plan of both agricultural and industrial development without neglecting the social services which are the only means of making the life of the common man worth living in the industrial sector it is realized that the time has come for a fresh monument various measures for this have been taken again government has announced concessions for unaccounted and undisclosed money provided it is voluntarily surrendered and we have been given a revised structure of taxes full stop